Hi folks, this is Bill with Handyman and Consulting, bringing you yet another video. Real estate, repairs, remodeling, buildings, you name it. Uh, in this episode, we're on a continuation of our topic of how to hire a contractor, okay? And uh, actually, you'll see I'm in uh, one of those prefab little homes, and uh, it has a second floor. Uh, the, the height is only about six feet, six and a half feet, uh, but a lot of different uses for a home like this, uh, delivered on site, um, especially in the age of COVID-19. So, uh, but on to the topic of how to hire a contractor. You know, we've already talked about uh, ha finding someone with a social presence finding someone that you can find out about, uh, see before they come to your home. Um, and uh, another item is um, uh, evaluating whether they, they get back to you in time. What kind of, uh, how amiable are they? Or, or how easy is it to, to work with um, on the phone? And then we talked about scheduling. If someone's uh, ready to come in the next 30 minutes uh, if, when after you call them or you call them on a Monday night and, and they're able to come Tuesday morning, that's not always a good sign. That means that they might have too much time on their hands. Uh, so in this video, in this video, I'd like to talk about Home Advisor, Angie's List, Thumbtack, and the list goes on, probably the BBB. And all of these, you don't realize it, but these places are businesses that don't necessarily have your back, okay? They are businesses, uh, not, they're, they're not for profit. They're not not for profit. They're ready to make a business um, by selling your information by selling your information. So at one time I was on Home Advisor, and I'll just give you an idea how it works. You as a homeowner have need a new door installed. So you give all of your information on this website, and then they sell it to contractors like us. Um, and then they charge us. So one thing, we have to pay to be a part of that system, and then they charge us to get your information. Sound like on the up and up? Well, to be honest, I, I discontinued, oh, this is many years ago, but uh, one of them that I was with. And I, I didn't feel as though it was genuine. You know, if, uh, if it was in some way um, uh, where it was not for profit and um, it, it was a, no, they're getting your information, collecting it, filtering it, putting a dollar amount on your information, on your needs, and then they sell it to us. So um, many of the good contractors are, aren't on those programs. Why? Because they're not looking to be buying lead. Oh, they're buying, you're, buy, you, you're a lead and you're buyable. So the person who contacts you, they bought you. I don't like that. I don't know about you, but uh, so in this video, when hiring a contractor, try and find someone word of mouth someone in your community, someone who has a presence, they have yard signs, or, um, you know, sometimes if you've gotten a business card from someone, that's a way, you know, that, 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 that means at least they have, a, they have a business card. You know, a lot of people on, on these different social platforms, they might not even have business cards. They're just waiting to buy your lead, buy your, tech, your, your cell phone number, your, your email. So I just wanted to share, I personally, as a uh, as someone looking to hire contractors, I never go onto those sites. Uh, I just don't feel it's on the up and up, okay? 
Hope you're well. Hope you're, hope uh, spring's right around the corner. Stay, uh, stay safe. And we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, click the bell, subscribe, and you'll get more of our videos streamed to you live. Talk to you soon. Take care.